There are three kinds of bankruptcies, but because we're a consumer firm, we're mainly involved with 7s and 13s. And 11 would be for a business or sometimes for an individual who has assets over a certain level. But most of the cases that we see in our office involve 7 where no one's paid back or 13 where you have to make payments. So the analysis in deciding whether you qualify or belong in a 7 versus a 13 is really based on three things. And I, and I break it down very simply. One, what kind of assets do you have? Do you have property that's over a certain level? Two, when you look at your income level, is your income too high to file a Chapter 7? Do you earn over the threshold? And three, if I'm looking at your actual budget, or we're looking at your actual budget, do you have money left over at the end of the month after your reasonable and necessary expenses to be able to pay creditors? And you have to pass all three tests in order to file a Chapter 7 and qualify. If you fail one of the tests, you might be a candidate for a 13 where you're going to make some payments. And that's something that we try and assess in our first meeting. I'm Lee Perlman. I'm a New Jersey bankruptcy lawyer. If you're having problems making payments on your house, your car, or you're simply worried about creditor harassment, give us a call.